In this video, I'm gonna show you how to test your 7 segment display, whether it is common anode or cathode, and whether the segments are working or not. So, for the beginning, we have a 7 segment display. I'm not sure whether it is common anode or cathode. Let's connect a 220 ohm resistor to limit the current across the display. I'm gonna connect it to the pin 3 which is the common pin and we hope that the 7 second display is common anode therefore I'm gonna connect the pin 3 to the positive rail of the breadboard on the other hand I'm gonna connect the jumper wire to the ground let's power the circuit with 5 volts 5 volts would be enough for this project And via this jumper wire, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna test each segment. And if one of the segments glow up, it means that the seven second display is common anode. So let's see. As you can see, we have a common anode. I'm not gonna connect it to the pin eight since I will short it. Pin seven working. This pin is not working. Segment B. The 7 second display is damaged. This second is, not, is also not working. I think segment C. The other segments look fine. So, that was it with the common anode. Let's check common cathode. I'm using another 7 second display. This time, I'm gonna connect the common pin of the display to ground. We hope that the 7 second display is common cathode, therefore pin 3 is going to be connected to ground. And the jumper wire now has to be connected to the positive rail of the breadboard. Let's connect our power supply, positive to positive and negative to negative. And like before, we're going to test each segment. As you can see the seven second display the segments are glowing up it means that we are we have a common cathode in this case let's check the other segments working working yes that seven second display is fine all of the segments are working that was it that was a short video on how to test your seven second display thanks and have a good day